Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, now I'm in here today because I'm going to do, a, I'll show you a few little bits and pieces because I've been tidying up a bit and I've found some things that I've made in the past and just a bit of different stuff, you know, that I'm putting away. I've actually putting this in here till I find the rest of that. I've got bling on a string written on that. I've had this for so long and I just want to be able to use it. So I've put a lot of this stuff in front of me on another um, shelf okay so it doesn't go up too high still um, now I had a piece of lace that I wanted to sew on that I went and I found but I couldn't find any more and that was really um, <laughs> a bit stressful you know? so everything is in bags now so all I need to do is just look in the bags because before when these were in big containers I couldn't find things I don't know whether anybody else has that trouble, but once you put things into a big container, you can't find anything anymore. So that's a nice piece, of two nice pieces that I've kept there. And these bits, well, I've kept it all, a lot, well, you know, what I need. But I really don't know what I did with that piece of, um, oh, I don't know. It was something that I was going to sew on, and I think it's something like this. Something like that because I needed an edge or an outline for it or something. But anyway, so these are like really good, nice, pretty pieces that I've kept aside to do that on. This one here looks really good. You could just put some embroidery on this basket. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I don't think that was the one that I... <laughs> I don't think that's the one I found. Um, I can't explain it, but I just found this really... And this is really nice. See how that's got that edge on it? I just want that edge for, for some reason. I just, you know, need... And this one here, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to cut some of these pieces out, you know, the flowers, on some of them. I need to go and <coughs> find some more pieces with the fabric with flowers on them. Because <coughs> I want to do me... Um, I've got to finish my house one for the Roxy Creations, and I need to finish the... Um, and then I need to do my bird one. I've been collecting up birds. Uh, so these little bits are not in the idea. Because I'm just searching for something, okay? So you can look with me. <laughs> that I really love. I'm going to do something interesting with that. These are, these are nice, aren't they, too? These pieces here. I've got some flowers. But then I look at these, I've cut I cut out so much stuff. I'd look at I got. <laughs> There's a bird, but I don't want to put him on there because I want to do my own bird in some or, or put a, a or applique one on there. A lot of this stuff I think people have um, sent to me in, in happy mails and some of it I've done. I've I made that there. Little little tiny purse. Look at that. Let's make it put goodies in. Got videos on that, but I can. I'm going to redo a lot of the videos anyway because it's a bit hard for people to find them. And I went and I cut all this apart. This piece that I had. Now I can just leave them like this, or I can colour them, can't I? I can colour them. But anyway, let me see now what else have we got here. Um, I mean, that's me needles. Still, I still am not finding that thing. Oh, this here too, I wanted to, I think I showed you that, I cut that out of a piece of fabric, all them bits and these pieces here. They're going to look really awesome when I do some more, um, what's the name, slow stitching, aren't they? Oh, hang on, there's more stuff under this. Right, there's another <laughs> packet of stuff here. Oh, that's a bit of, that's a bit of work that I'm still doing. Yeah, that must fit exactly in that drawer because I can't get that. Oh, yes, I've got it. I've got it. Nobody panic. I need to put something under there so I can lift it up, don't I? Oh, this thing. I really love this piece that I did. <laughs> it's all right. If you love your own work, that's not a bad thing. So, that's a bit off a page. There's a book I'm working on with that. This I've got to sew. That's a bit of um, lavender. Uh, that I did on that thing. That's what I want to do on this one I'm working on too. That, but this here is one of my favourite pieces because I made that from a, a, an old tablecloth. I just re, re 
redid it, you know. Everything's <laughs> going to fall down. I just re-embroidered it. I left some of the work that the person had done around here. There's a bit. And in the middle of that, that's what the late person had done. And then I just did around the outside just to give it a lift because it's really light in there. And then I just give it a lift and put that on. Might be over a hole. It was so much fun doing this. It really was. I really enjoyed doing that. And I've got more, so I must do some more one day, eh? Because, gee, <laughs> that looks really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just one of them nice pieces of work, though, that you can keep and just look after it, OK? That's what that can be. Now, I was working on this here one, too, and I didn't get further with it, and I'm sorry about that. I will come back and do more on these things. It just takes me a bit of time. Of course, there's one of my butterflies. It was one old butterfly that I did with the beads. But So this is stuff that I've been working on, all done some stuff on anyway, so a bit of stitching. So I'll put that back down the bottom of there. That draw. See, fair here where I need it. <laughs> I didn't put something underneath, so pick it up, we should be able to get down. We still haven't found that piece of stuff, have we? I don't know. Probably never will. <laughs> never see it again. Now there's a going here. There's all my ends off. I keep all the sides off me. My nice um, material, my nice fabric. See, this is better, isn't it? Than having it all in one big bowl and you can't find nothing. It's a lot better, I tell you. It really works for me good. It's working for me really well. It's all sorted into sections and stuff like that. It's not completely exactly to a fine art, but it's um, it's pretty good. And then we just put it back in as it is, see, can't we? And that one can go on top of there. I'm packing it in nicely, please, I am. I'm packing it in nicely. And then I have more here that I've actually been working on, and there's um, a few there to go on eBay, so I'll, I've got them ready. But I'll get that done soon. <clears throat> it's just taking me a while. You know, you got to get you got to get things organised. You can't just leave it. And then numbers, another piece of fabric. I've just got this aside because I was looking at that as a house, but my house doesn't look anything like that. That's <laughs> okay. You just sort of sometimes have these ideas, don't you? Okay, so now, this is a few things that I've done, if you don't mind watching, otherwise you can turn it off. This, I love. I had really good fun making this. All good. Here's my needles. <laughs> Here's a face and an arm. Okay, so I'll put that in the box here that I have little doll people in. See, me little doll people? I was looking for some stuff for my brother once, because he does a lot of miniature um, things like trains and stuff like that. I was looking for some people, um, so I sent overseas for these, and I thought, well, I think I might keep those for myself, <laughs> and um, he can, um, I'll send him some. So I sent it straight from the supplier instead of to me first. Didn't want to keep any more on him. That wouldn't have been very nice, would it? <laughs> I'll have to do something snazzy with these little bottles, won't I? Now, where are they? Tiny buttons, pearls, pegs, tape. I know I've got little bottles here somewhere. Uh, pigs. Here. So in this I've got tiny glass bottles. Look, and that's pretty. Now I've been collecting these for many, many years, okay? So please don't judge me. I've sent away, you know, I just spend about $5 sometimes a week and send away for them or just buy them up the street or wherever they come from. People might give them to me, somebody gifted me this and some Happy Mail them tiny little cards. But I love these and I'm going to actually do something and hang them on a journal or something. There'll be something to do with that, okay? <clears throat> now this is not, I only get a, a small supply of each thing out so I could use them, you know, there's butterflies in this. Now, I wonder what department that would be in. Maybe I'm going to have to leave that till I, aren't they neat? I'll show you. Now, I've had these for years. You see, a lot of this stuff I could not find. No way. Can't find me bling on a string today, but we'll keep looking. See, that sort of looks, feels like it's rubber. But it'll look really good on a 
something. Made it look really good. I'll leave that in there. And some good good needles, so I'll put them in a box in a container that says needles. Where's needles? Tiny buttons, pins, well, tiny pegs. I'm reading the thing behind me. <laughs> Any needles anywhere, people? Mm, probably didn't write needles on it, but I'm sure there's some in there somewhere. Yeah, there's some. I'll put them in there. So I have needles. This is something that I got not long ago too. I bought it a really long time ago, but um, these are um, like cut, like stickers, but they're really cool, aren't they? They're, they're a sticker on it, like this thing. Look, they're just a thing to put in your journals, aren't they? It's forty in there, and all different sorts of tickets and tags and labels, whatever you got, and it's nice and it's flat. Flowering as promised. May you work may you work hard all your life, be loved all your life, have what you want, and let go of what you can't get. Well that's right. Anyway, so I'll put that in there. And it just has a collection of um sentiments. Uh, a bit of fabric tape so I can stamp on if I want to. Make sure I've got a bit of little elastic and some um, what's the name? Uh, cotton. And this one I got, I think I showed you the other day. Although this one's got a lot of these blingy stuff in it, but I need another, I need another space to put them because I'm filling it up too much and I've got some more sitting here that I just found, so I'll just cut the longest piece of off it. Because if the sticky does go a bit worn off, you can still use it because they're, um, you can put some um, glue on, can't you? I'm, I'm also in here got tiny weeny pegs. I love tiny little bits. Tiny little pegs. And there's numbers in here and little um, cut out letters. I think that's what they are. Yeah. Um, I do have another lot of numbers too, but it's a bit full. So I'll keep these down in here. This is a really bit bits of bling and tiny says cotton needles and pins. Oh, well, needles were supposed to be in this one. Here we go. <laughs> needles, there's pins, more wool. Got some tiny little bits in these ones. If you're sitting here and you're making a journal and you're putting, looking for something, you've got it fair in front of you. I think it's the best idea I've had. Bad word, but it's one of the best ideas I've had. <laughs> As ideas go. Yeah, and I showed you this one the other day. So it's got buttons and, and beads. There's some sequins in there. Needle threader, pencil sharpener, um, thimble, eraser. I don't know if I got all that written on there, but I'm sure I'll find it really quick. You know, there's none of this having to look through all across the way. You know, is there? But anyway, back to this. Now I did these clay pieces a fair while ago. I'll put this back. Um, I did them clay things a fair while ago, years, years and years ago. I've been on here about nine years now, nine or ten years. <coughs> I've been here <laughs> torturing people. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. <laughs> anyway, if you don't watch like my channel, you don't have to watch me, I suppose, but I just do lots of things. I'm just an ordinary person and I just love to do this. Anyway, so all that beautiful, isn't it? I've got all the little bits and stuck them all over and I didn't know quite what to do and then I haven't even finished the tin yet. I did finish off one and I sent it to Debbie Vignola for a birthday or something or some sort of competition that she was having. Now this is a, a way that you can send bits and pieces to people if you wanted to, like I've made a little tag. Now I've cut out this um, thing on me, on me scan and cut actually. Me scan and cut and me Gemini might get to come in here now, I might have enough room for that. Um, and then I've got these pins with the beads on, and I've got some, some ribbon, some more ribbon, and some rickrack. And see, that's a way of sending a few little supplies to people, you know, like if you want to send it in a happy mail or something. So that I've got that there. Now, I made this ages ago, and you've seen that, and it never went on the book because the book's still not finished. Um, little pin cushion and dear little um, book, dear little booklet here that I did for putting your needles in. When I say pin cushion, it is sort of like a little pin house, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> and I'm saying that, you know, I've got some little beads on the end of it. It's also on the end because I joined them together because I didn't want them to get lost from one another. And there you go, that's that one. 
Then, of course, you remember me making this. This is awesome. A bit of fluff. It's only, it's only fluff. It's like off something else fluffy, you know. Um, my daughter said to me, Mum, did you put that on wire and do that? I said, no, I've sewed every bit on. Oh, yes. Every bit. I might have put that on something nice one day. Yep. I started a hummingbird. He hasn't got very far. I made this. <laughs> I love it. I really do. I do love that. It's a little bit... It's a necklace thingy you put around your neck and you got that bit. <laughs> okay. And I made this one. A little lot of... Uh, just a little, little um, video. Well, well, something for you to have a look at a few bits and pieces that I've done because I haven't really got the time to um, do anything yet as far as... That goes. Now, I made these, right, to go in the journal that I lost that is fair here, <laughs> but I can't reach it. No, I can't reach it, sorry, because my chair doesn't have wheels. It's just um, can't wheel myself around. But I made these little booklets to go, that's not one, to go in the journals. These are, And all I did was just make these out of, um, I put a little bit of fabric on and put a staple and then made these little booklets. So they're going to go in the um, thing that I've got in the book that I'm doing over there, which I'll show you and get back to one, hopefully one day soon. And that's a little set of those. This one here I made a really long time ago. There's fluff stuck to it. There's always a bit of extra, isn't there? Come on. I've got my fluff rolling thing. I think it might have, to be, have some taken off it though. It's a good idea. Just get your clothes fluffy brush thingy, whatever it is, I don't know what these are called, the rolling plastic thing, and just roll the fluff off your table. I really like, I enjoy that. So that's nothing there, is it? Look at that, there's nothing there. I'll have to put that in an embellishment thing. Now, these are a few little bits that I did years ago with beads, and we can come back on here one time and have a go on, I suppose. Actually, because they're not really, they're just um, samples, I suppose, of what of some of the flowers and that that I did with the beads and the wire. They're just like little samples. There's something that can go in there. There's a leaf. These petals are cool, but I find that I think I've made them too big because to me they're a little bit floppy, but you could put glue on them, I suppose, couldn't you? And these are more petals and I don't know what that one was supposed to be. I think I made a bunch of flowers. Let me see. I think I made a bunch of flowers. So we got a that one there. And I just put a these ones here with the well, they're nice, aren't they? I think they are. You can make them smaller and put them in a dollhouse or something. That was probably my thoughts on it at the time because it's not very um they're not very big but you can also probably use them on anything else you wanted to then i have these long bits maybe the long ones there's another one here yeah so that was um just a little bit of beading make a brooch out of it couldn't you you could do anything with it put a put a bit of green Florist stuff around it, you know your florist stuff, <laughs> which I don't know what it's called now, and and that's you know nice little bits, isn't it? And there's these ones here. Now I like the way that this is surrounded by the ribbon. I did not do that myself, but I'm going to try it because I think as you're going back, you're going through the through the ribbon. See the stitches are going through the ribbon too. When you first look at it, you probably envision that it would it's going, somebody glued it around the edge, the ribbon. You could do that too. But the way this is made, I really like that. So I'll have to I'll have to come back to this one day so I can show you that one. I've got all this stuff together here so we can go and have a redo of any of these things. And it's just so much fun. It's not hard to do at all. People, Some people think that, you know, they find it hard because it looks like it could be, but... It's not. It's, I think mostly it takes a few patience, you know. You need a little bit patient, that's all. There's a heart one that I made. 
Maybe. What did I do with the, but with the butterfly? He was here somewhere, wasn't he? I must have put him in. <laughs> Why do I sit that? Doesn't matter. It was probably in another dish, was it? Anyway, I'm sure it's not that far. I did a... I've done these bows that I really like. It's a very... It's a paper clip. And it probably is really old and needs a bit of a... But see, you could do a bit of an update on that, couldn't you? And fix that up nicely. I did this for myself many moons ago. I made this petty point for my... I gave it to my mother, I think. I made it for the show a long time ago. See that? That is over one tiny, tiny stitch. Penny point. I did not quite go blind, but... <laughs> it's a very, very miniature cross stitch that only... I don't... It's so tiny you can't see how... Oh, you can't put your way up there. Well, that was good fun. I didn't mind doing it, truly. I didn't. And then I have these bags that I've done. There's a little purse, and here's a little handbag, and you actually can use it. It has got, oh, it's got a button inside. <laughs> Probably should put a dollar in there or something, shouldn't I? So that's those. They were fun to do. I love, love all this beading and things. I do love that. Um, I have got a big, a big dish of stuff here. Dragonfly. Love the dragonflies, little whiskers are crooked. Um, made a mushroom. It's a mushroom. I love the mushroom. I used to do a lot of three dimensional stuff, and you could put it, you could get a bowl and sort of sit them on the top of the bowl as a design in the forest or something, and put that in the show. So that would be good. This is neat. I really like this. I found it again another day. It's just a a, um, a large paper clip but it's made like it's wrapped with a piece of sewing fabric I went up to Can Assist up there. when was that yesterday and hanging up there they had this apron and had these beautiful 50s pictures of ladies in these really nice dresses and she wouldn't sell it to me she wanted to keep it for a display she said maybe in a couple of weeks she said oh dear oh dear <laughs> So I'm going back there in a couple of weeks to see if I, I can get it because, you know, somebody had donated it and that was my way of thinking. I really like it. Look at this. Isn't this snazzy? Now, I made <laughs> I say this. I do like my work. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it, I suppose. And if I'm doing it and I don't like it, I'll take it undone. And I have this one too. Now, all these were going to go on a journal, but I haven't, haven't finished that journal and I haven't um, thought about what I do with it, but I do love these. Where I made the covered the bead with the silk ribbon, and then I got these little bally things that go on the bottom. Now I got them in a little bodily sitting close to me. But I had it a while ago anyway. I haven't really done it now. Oh look, I made a teapot. I've done a video on that too. And that's just by covering. Maybe I should just bring this camera down a bit. Oops. So I made a teapot. I also covered this with beads. I think I've done one or two things, and you know, there's a wooden bead under there. I'm sure I did a video on that. It's really cool, isn't it? And this is all stitched on. That is a cotton. It's a gold cotton, and I have done a um, blanket stitch all the way around. Yes, and covered, covered the um, little wooden um, chalice thing or whatever it is and then I put those around the outside of now that would have been the year dot that I made that a very long time ago um, I have some books here that I've made little books I think I sent some out I don't know if I did I think I might have done I sent... that's another one See, I can't really keep all this stuff, can I? <laughs> now, there's a, a, a beaded leaf. Love that. Love that sort of work. I want to get back on here and do that. I do. Oh, I got this thing yesterday. I found two. 
don't know what I did with that. Anyway, I've probably got it somewhere. This is a piece of my ribbon embroidery. Okay, that's cool. I like it. Now, this is a tiny little booklet. It's made from using a piece of a, um, a purse. I don't know what I did. I think I had something on the end of it that was too big, so I took it off. But you can actually open the pages up. Look at that. See? And I do like that. I might put a different wrap thing around it, eh? You think? We could do that, couldn't we? There's another one of these um, bead things that I've made. These. Now, I don't know if I did that or it was like it. I think I might have done that. I might have covered it with a fabric. I think I'm guilty of that. Okay. <laughs> this is my poor frog thing. <laughs> oh, dear. It isn't messy. Look. So I wanted to make something that you could actually put onto a brooch or something, see? Because the other one is actually done on the material. It's on the fabric, so you can't sort of... Um, oops. Okay. See, look at that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> it was a little bit of trial and error there in that, but I still completed it anyway. So he's sort of... Uh, some sort of critter. It doesn't matter what. You just can have whatever you like, can't you? You can just be a critter. So here's my little um, books. Got a push cat on the front. I think Stephanie might have sent me this. I've got a feeling she did send me the stuff to make this out. It only wraps one way, so it all goes round just enough, and it sits in there. And this one here is one that I've made a really while back. It was an earring. I thought that looked good on there. There's little pages on it that you can... And that only wraps one way. I always get it wrong. Go that way first. <laughs> Go around there and put that down in there. Good fun to do. Really good fun to make these are. When you think about it, I think I've got about 2,000 videos up there. 2,000, I've got over 2,000, I'm nearly sure I have. And I can't get that to go in the hole, it's too tight. Anyway, we get it there, right I'm just going to have a mouthful of water. This one I made, it's one of the first ones that I did. Way back in the day, when I first found, discovered a bit of journaling. Way back in the day, I made that one. Okay, so, oh, this is, <laughs> I made a trim. <laughs> I made this piece of trim, and I had really good fun doing that, and that needs a bit of sticky tape on it, doesn't it? Stop, stop, please stop. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't work out these things sometimes. Okay, so a bit of sticky tape. I probably should put masking tape on that. Where is it? Because that's going to ravel undone. And we're not going to be happy. I could easily take it off anyway if I want to put it onto something. And then I can just probably glue that. Put a bit of tape on it so it won't all come undone. Okay, now, what else have we got in here? A few bits and pieces. Oh, some funny little dollies that I did. <laughs> Those are not funny, really. Here's a, a flower that I made. Uh, there's a bit of cotton connected to her, which is not good. Get off there. I don't want to lose that little... I'm going to make a purse to fit on this little thing. What do you reckon? <laughs> Won't that be fun? Now I've got these little dolls. The bead dolls. Uh, and there's some small ones here too, I think, somewhere. Small bead doll. Here's one. It's very wee. <laughs> Well, I hope you are enjoying looking at my bits and pieces. I do like to go through them from time to time. There's the first teapot I did. Now, I've made it back in the, in the dark ages. <laughs> um, so I've got... You would have seen these um, bookmarks that I made anyway. That one you can actually write on the back of it. How was that? 
So this is what we do with a button too. I showed you these the other day. So you can cover your button. More buttons. Actually, I didn't because they're over there. Yeah, because here's another one. It's a button, but I put fabric underneath that first to make an embellishment. I have these ones here that I did. Put a pin on them and hang them on something. This is a nice this one with a seahorse on it, isn't it? Pretty. Oh, that one I was trying to make a small dangle. <laughs> Only got a small dangle. This is a uh, embroidery hoop that I bought some of them and then I just put a piece of embroidery in that and then you can just put it through something and hang it up I made a fan <coughs> excuse me um, and I just got bits and pieces of other stuff in here um, I've actually found a few of these this morning this one here is a bought one the ones that I found I think the ones that I did, I seem to think that they're not working quite too good. Um, I don't know whether it's the glue or what it is that makes it um, uh, sort of coming apart a bit. Anyway, I've got more buttons. <laughs> and this is a brooch. It's a brooch, that one. Okay, so I'll let you go. <laughs> I'll put all this back. Now I found this, a lot of it, all through my stuff as I was working on, you know, away doing this tidying, because it was all in different boxes and places and stuff, and I thought, well, I need to put this all together, don't I, so I can find it. <coughs> put it well, in a, in a way, I don't think I'd put it on what I'm working on now, because I need to have inspiration or whatever. Oh yes, and I made these gears. I was really pleased with those because I didn't have anything to make them out, so I did, had to draw that, and then I cut them through. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it, because I found so many. <laughs> so many, and I got some really nice ones the other day when I went out. I should probably show you my haul videos because I'm not bringing home craft stuff anymore. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not, so <laughs> I'm pleased about that. But anyway, so... I hope you enjoyed that and um, I'm sure we'll bring you along at another stage and we'll have a look at some more stuff I'm down the track when I'm done a bit more. I've got things on the table here that I'm going to have to store, you know, because I've got extra, if you've got extra bits of stuff. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching and I'll talk to you. Please leave a comment and say g'day. I like to see your um, comments and hear what you've got to say, you know, if you like things and if you'd like to see things made and all good fun. Um... Now, wait a minute, a lady asked me, and I did answer her, but I really wanted to show her what I was doing here. The other day, I was ironing with the hair straightener, but I didn't really explain a lot what that was, because I've been using it before and I didn't realise people wouldn't understand what it was. It's a hair straightener, but it's got this little heating thing in there, see, and if you put a piece of fabric in there, and bring it along, you can do your ribbon or your lace or something, you can um, warm it up and make it straight. And that's what I was doing, so, um, and it's, the, the person thought, a uh, nice lady thought it was um, a, a little iron. It just sort of is, in a way, it just depends. <laughs> you got, you're just going to iron both sides of whatever you're doing, so. But anyway, um, someone answered her and then I, I, I did, did leave a comment and tell her what it was anyhow. So, thank you everybody for watching. And I will get back and talk to you later. So stay safe. Bye-bye.